Wow, 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 Nar! Alright, what's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as Nar in the top lane, and I know, wow, Sugoi, Ankle Spankin started his recording during the Champion Select screen, but that's pretty much goddamn, alright, let's see how good I am at basketball. Oh, I'm the worst, okay, um, well, I'm sad now. Anyways, I chose to start on the screen, just so you could see uh, who I'm playing with, what I'm playing as, who I'm playing against, in a bit easier fashion, just so I can point it out real fast before we go into the game, and I might do this more in the future. As you can see, I'm playing Dino Nar. Uh, against another Nar, but he has teleport and no skin, so clearly I'm going to be better. Um, then we have the Feeding King as Pantheon versus Big Glaze Donut on the Hecarim. And then on the mid lane will be the Yasuo. Oh, that loaded in a lot faster than I thought it would. Pfeiffer was really far behind. But Yasuo versus Zed. And then bot lane. Oh my god, this skin is so cute! Oh my god, this is... <gasps> this is so adorable. Is he? Is he? But... Potential AD carry? These items want me or leading me to believe they could be potential AD carry? Oh my god. Huh. Huh. What's his attack range? 400? Never mind. Never mind. That That's going to get shit on. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe. Maybe he will be. I don't know. Anyways. Bot lane will be Morgana Jinx versus uh, Lily Pichu and Pfeiffer as Morgana and Misfortune. And we already went over the other matchups. So... Let's talk about Nar a bit. Nar is the only, or is the first champion that has a, um, what is it? Has a transformation that you can't directly control. What you do is whenever you're attacking, you build up this rage bar. And when it's full, you can either use an ability and you'll transform into Mega Nar, or after a few seconds, you'll just transform into Mega Nar anyways. Um, and the abilities are similar, but have different effects in each form. In Little Nar, he has increased attack speed, um, and I think. And he has his ranged attacks, too. So, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Lily didn't know. <laughs> but, um, and he has, like, low resistances, HP, and all that jazz. And then, um, Meganar, his passive, makes him tankier, moves slower, uh, attacks slower. And he has, yeah, I think that's just, I think that's it. And then his Q, and Mininar is a little boomerang. Um, that when you throw it, it adds, or does damage and slows and then starts flying back at you. And if you catch it, it'll drastically reduce the cooldown. Like, drastically. Um, by 60%, apparently. Uh, and then in Meganar form, it is the, uh, it's, it's a boulder toss, where you just throw a gigantic boulder at someone, I guess. Uh, whoa, he's trying to throw stuff at me already, so let's go ahead and chuck it. Oh, what the heck? So it only goes to where you throw it to noted oh wait no it's because it hits the it changes back on the first minion okay or the first thing it hits so let's go ahead and womp well what the heck oh i caught it dude righteous all right look at that damage look at that damage and the cube boop boomeranging him this will be some good damage off on him here and let's see if we can oh the doge now let's go ahead and just cue that and boop i don't quite understand the cue or the damage of this works yet but i don't know let's see I'm going to get my E second, because Pantheon ganks can be pretty terrifying. But anyways, back to my skills. I actually don't know what my W does. I know it's just a passive. Uh, it's it's kind of like a Silver Bolt's passive, apparently. Um, at least in Mininar form. And then in W form, it's like this big stun. So, there's that. What the heck? I don't understand how this Q aims yet, dude. I truly don't understand how this Q aims yet. But, oh, he's going into Meganar form. So let's go ahead. Whoa, what the? What? Oh my god, he's huge. This dude is huge. But he ain't getting away from me. Come on. Come here. And the bounce and boom, Meganar form coming out. And the flash ignite for the... F what the fuck? How did he get the first blood? All right, then the wallop is going to come up here and stun him up. And the boulder toss is going to slow him down. And this will not be a double kill. But Pantheon almost getting shrekt to the max. So, and that was a very good display of some of the shit that Nar does. One thing that if you guys noticed, oh god, he's trying to front me. But if you guys noticed, I have my rage bar full, right? I have my rage bar full, and then I used my E and I bounced off of a minion and went into Meganar form as I bounced into the air, and then I landed on him with the crunch. Meaning it did big damage and slowed him wherever I landed. So that did lots of damage to him and truly just, uh, well, it murked him at the end of the day. That's really what it did. So, 
with that in mind, I'm just going to pick up a longsword, some potions, and a ward, where he got nothing but potions, so that should uh, be better for me. Anyways, that should be a good example of the E um, for you guys. Wherever Nar leaps, he gets, um, he gets bonus attack speed for a little bit, and if he hits a, like if he hits a minion, wait, does it work if he hits a champion? Oh, it does work! <laughs> Okay, that's actually really funny to me. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. But if you hit a target uh, with your leap, it will um, make you bounce. So you can use that to your advantage. So let's see, picking up some damage there on him, catching my boomerang. And let's see. I think I already explained the WD guys. In mini nar form, it's just the silver bolts looking thing, and then um, in big nar form, it is. Uh, that wallop thing that I was telling you about. Oh god, I missed my thing. Son of a bitch. Alright, um, got this. Hey, yep! Ah! Oh. Okay. So I don't know if it. Oh god, that's gonna hurt, dude. So, oh wait, does it only hit once? Does it. Tap it. Tap it. I'm reading. Does it only hit once? Each enemy can only be hit once. Okay. Okay. So it can only hit someone once. Good to know. Does it apply stacks of my W? I don't know yet. Uh, did I miss it? Shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. And the all-in zhugbooj! Oh, I missed! Son of a bitch. Alright, whatever. Still going in, and the boulder toss. Oh, it hit. Okay, so my house hit this dude. Whoops. Alright, let's see. Come here. Come on, little Nar. Duke it out with me. Come on. And walla bam, stun him up, and this will be the crunch missing, actually, but the house is going to slow him down a little bit. And actually, he can boomerang me again, so I'm going to have to doge that. There we go, perfect doge, good job, ankle spanking. And it looks like, oh, I'm dead. Probably waits. Waits! Ah! Oh! oh my god, he just rolled on me. Oh, oh god, he hit level 6, and I don't know what that does. Um, I truly don't know what that does. <laughs> I think it... Oh, okay, okay. So, in addition to giving Gnar more attack speed and, or more damage when he procs the thing, uh, it makes him move faster. And then it makes... Or the passive for mini Gnar does more damage. And then in Mega Gnar, if you use your ultimate, it like smashes people forward and then if you hit him into a wall, it does more damage and stuns him. So, there's, uh, there's some good information there. Good stuff to know. And let's see... <sighs> do I knock people up with this? Is this... I think it counts as a knock-up. Like, or a displacement ability, at least, so Yasuo can make use of it. Oh. Alright, so I got my Gnar, and let's see. He did shit on me, because I truly don't know what I'm doing, so it's hard for me to just be like, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. So let's go ahead and cue that. Catch my boomerang. And... What I'm picking up from this is that Gnar is really good at, like, um... Fucking people over with, like, chasing them and stuff. And looks like we'll have to see which build is better. Because he's going for the Bork first. Or I'm going to try the Triforce first. And I don't know if that's better. Right, let's see. So, I'm transforming here. And there I am in Mega Nard. Tossing that boulder there. So it does do an AoE. Cool. Good to know. And I'll go ahead and wallop. And, oh, not get hit by that. But I don't really want to try anything, because I'm really far pushed up, and I don't know where Pantheon is. So, just kind of keeping my cool here. I'm going to jump away, and that will be the end of that. So he just jumped on the wave. It's going to start pushing at me here in a second. And I'm thinking that his build may be better for laning, because it does provide him with sustain. But I think after I get the Triforce, I may have a better time due to um, the burst damage that I'll be able to pump out. So, possibly, we'll find out. We will find out. So, that actually could be totally troll, so let's try this. Uh, oh. Oh! I get it now. Okay. So it turns wherever you're turn Like, it turns to wherever you're moving until you move back. Like, until it starts the, the fling backwards. Okay. So I get it now. Whoop. Whoop, but Meganar going in, gonna knock him into that wall there. Now let's go ahead and get this out here, and the wallop and the stun and the boulder toss, nailing him, will be the kill. Get 
out of here, wrecked, son. Absolute shit on. So, tons of damage going off on him there. And let's see. Oh, what the? Oh, did I lose health from going out of my Nar or my Meganar form? So this just reduce the damage. I guess I'll level this second. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and just do some damage here. Oh, that damage. Hello. Let's go ahead and just get these potions ticking, though. Throw the Q through there. Totally miss. Rip. And he's using the Heart Seeker Strike. Fine. And, oh, that's a miss. But, doing some damage in here. Nar could be coming from the side. But I kind of doubt that, because he just uses W. So, don't know where Nar is. And you can't have that applied to multiple people, I'm seeing. Um, oh, I'm going to dodge out on that. Let's see. Wonk. Hitting him up. And that will actually hit me as well. But let's see. Boink! Nailing him with that boulder toss. And that will be some good damage off on him. My Nar, which is the name of my ultimate, is not going to be up for a little bit. Boink! Nailing him with that and getting the CS. So, good job me. And boink! Okay, so it does stop at the first minion hit still. I'm just going to jump out of here. And I don't think you actually do bounce um, when you jump on something as Mega Nar. So that's something to keep in mind too. I think you only bounce when you're in Mini Nar. So if you like, if you try and jump when you're in, oh, he just whiffed his ultimate, dude. How do you feel right now? How are you actually feeling right now? So Hecarim coming in, and let's go ahead and get this ward down here. And I'm just gonna whoop and bonk, nailed him, and that will be a good gank from my Hecarim. Thank you, Donut. Will be another kill for me, and I can go back and actually get a lot of items here really soon. My CS is absolutely atrocious this game, and I just missed that boomerang somehow. So that's. A bit of a shame, but I can get a lot on this back, so I definitely will. Let's see Hecarim going in. He's going to bop him right there. And someone is calling me, but I am afraid I can't answer right now. Wow, I spawned in Mega Nar. What the heck? All right, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to get the Sheen. Maybe. No, I'm going to get the Zeal, because this way I can get boots, too, because my team just killed the turret. So, now I can get the Zeal, the Boots, and anyways, the Sheen will only be used for the Sheen proc anyways. Because Nar doesn't have mana, so he won't really make use of that. So, it might be better just get the Zeal and the Phage until you can complete the Trinity Force and get that full proc. So, holy shit, ya or, are Yasuo's 9 or 5 and 0? Oh? God damn, Isaac. Well done, buddy. That will be those guys going down. So... Good job there. And actually, I'm going to throw this boomerang um, and see if it does apply stuff. It Oh, it does apply stuff. Nice. So it does apply the stack of the stuff. Uh, that's good to know. And this will be some damage off on him. And boink. Boop. And this will be another slow going off on him. There we go. And oh, uh, oh there goes. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh, what? That hit me. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I used my flash thinking he was going to try and smash me into this wall. But uh, he didn't. So now I just feel like a silly goose. But where is he? Where is he? Where is he? hi -yup! Oh, God. I almost lobbed him with that. So let's see. Can I get him with this? Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? I'm feeling, feeling like I can. This will be boop. And this will boop. Oh, he just bounced over me. He's going to kill himself. So dodging my little boomerang blade will be the death of him because he couldn't auto-attack me and win. So, outplaying him there again. And since he is running teleport against my Ignite, notice all of my kills have come from me using Ignite. Um, that's one thing to note, in my opinion. If you're looking to win top lane, use Ignite. If you're looking to kind of farm and help your team... Uh, what? Oh, what the heck? Why was it blue? Why, why why was it blue? I thought he was friendly. And then I was like, we don't have a Pantheon. What? What is this garbage, dude? That is lame. Oh my god, that is so lame. Okay, well, I don't know. I was sitting there really confused for a second. I saw the heck or the Pantheon ultimate that was, that was friendly. Like, I was a goddamn friendly Pantheon ultimate. And then it hit me. And he just shit on me. 
Well, that is... That's depressing. That's depressing. So I'm going to lose the, um... The turret. Oh my god, this skin is so adorable. Oh, Donut was just talking about my skin. Neat. But I haven't really gotten a chance to showcase Nara's abilities yet of, uh, like, escaping and stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Let's go ahead and do some damage up to him. Drop this Q, and he's still full health. What the heck? So I guess Mega Nar is kind of a weird system when it comes to health. Um, whoop, whoop, boink, boink. All right, munching stuff. Let's go ahead and oh, that slow dough. That slow dough. Come here. Whoop, wallop is not going to hit, but the boulder will smack him in the face. So that's good. So you actually run a lot slower in this form, I'm finding. So it's pretty much only practical, even, to try to initiate it, or initiate with it when you uh, jump in with the leap. So, wait. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> that was a trick that I wanted to see if it would work. <clears throat> I really wanted to see if that would work. If you guys didn't catch what I was doing there, I was seeing if you could um, use your hop, and as you guys know, if you hit a uh, enemy, or a, or if you hit any target with your hop, it'll make you bounce again. So what I was doing was I was seeing if um, using my hop and then placing a ward where I was landing would let me count that as a minion uh, and hop again. So I don't know, and I wanted to see, and I'm glad I saw, so now I know. So let's see, I guess it doesn't do damage again. God damn it, my boomerang looks so weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't fully understand that yet, but... Was like our Yasuo is still putting in work. Isaac just uh, decided he wanted to go super ham this game, I guess. So, good. Good. Oh, God, I threw a boulder. I, I wasn't even expecting that. Whoops. All right. Let's see. So, 225. Nice. Let's go ahead. Holy shit, that Sheen proc damage. Uh. Uh. Yo, this damage. Holy shit. And now we're going to get this tower. So, tower going down. And whoop, throwing that here. Nar is absolutely fucking adorable. I can't get over this champion, dude. So, let's see. Um, Should I go for the Bork next? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh-oh. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> oh, shit. It hit me. Oh god. Hoop! Oh, I. Yes! Yes! Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, we have a Yasuo here! Okay, that's why he's. Hoop! Hoop! Boom! Nailing him! And <laughs> that will be him going down. Thank you, Isaac. I actually didn't even see that he was there. But. Damn, that's, that was fun. I was about to try and super outplay him because I'd just gotten my big Mega Nar form. And uh, what I was going to try and do, I was going to try and leap on him and then gnar him into the wall. But, uh, yep, as you guys saw, that plan didn't really come to fruition. So that's okay. But let's see, Nar is moving. Oh, yeah, you actually, you also get the movement speed when you leave your passive, to, or not your passive, your Mega Nar. So let's see, I guess. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, so that's not the wall you can go through. I mean, I know you can do that, because Freak said so, and he showed it in the champion spotlight. But I don't know where you can do it from. I guess I'll just take some practice and some experimenting. But let's do some more stuff. Now I got a Vampire Acceptor. I got that sustain. Boop. And hi -ya! There we go. Make sure I pick that up. And boink. And boink. Oh, okay. So regardless... Okay, I get it now. I, I'm i starting to understand this. Oh, truly was not making much sense to me previously, but now I'm starting to understand it. Nara is definitely interesting, and I really... I'm actually having a lot of fun playing, to be totally honest with you. Um, but he is... Wow, he is definitely different. Uh, definitely a very different champion. But, like, a good different. I like it. So let's go ahead and get this, get that, and auto this, cue that, and get this turret as well. So just doing my top lane things, and this will be two turrets for me. Nar is in mid. I think that's Mega Nar. Yeah, Mega Nar is chilling in mid, and I can't help but feel like he hasn't really been using his uh, 
his thing. All right, going in on Pantheon. This will just smack him over there. Hello, and the wallop is going to stun him up in the boulder. Fuck you, Pantheon. Get out of here, mine. And this will, oh God, he dodged it. Oh God, oh boy. Hoop. There's three people there, but I killed one of them. Okay, what? Why did he? Man, whatever. I said, wait, why is he so tanky? I have no idea. Maybe he just looked tanky. Whatever. I still came out very heavily on top of that. So I'm going to get my Cutlass and um, my Ninja Tabby. And my team, yep, is going to get a turret out of that because they have no one to defend this with. So, me definitely coming out on top here. I'll be able to go top and poop on this guy because I have a full Triforce over him um, and more AD. So even though he has the Bork, I'm proud of you, son. What the heck? That is so adorable. All right. Whoop. <laughs> that little giggle. Okay. Okay. I need to get my head in the game. All right. Come here. Come here, Nar. Come here. Boop. Boop. Shit. Ah! Got it. Uh, got all of them. Nice. Nice, Sue. Right, let's see. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing. Because that will give me a chance to... Uh, what the... Don't understand these boomerangs, dude. I still don't get them whatsoever. All right, I'm transforming. Here we go. Mega Nar. Nice. Nice. So I know this second hop has a fixed distance now, and that's a li I don't I don't fully know how far it is yet, so I'm working on it. But we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. And I would usually say that on a lot of champions I don't think you should go um, Triforce into Bork, but I would say it's actually okay on Gnar because of the bonus damage he gets while he's in the Mega Gnar form. How did I miss that? But the bonus damage he gets in Mega Gnar, in my opinion, makes up for uh, the lack of a really strong AD item in other locations. So I can see some benefits to this, actually. And let's see, can I get there in time? Nope. Looks like I'm not going to get there, so I'll just out of this turret, try and get my rage up, and then I'll see if I can pump in some more. Let's go ahead and just throw my boomerang there for uh, that sheen proc, and it looks like Mega Nar is incoming. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Mega Nar, Jumping in on him. We'll do some damage. Let's go ahead and just boop, wallop, gonna stun her up, and boink! Gnarring her right into the wall, and I'm out of there. Peace! Peace. And let's just throw a house at them for fun. Oh, nailed them both. And that knock-up, is he going in? And the, whoa, what the? Whoa, whoa! Okay, got the kill, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Peace. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Wait. I wonder. Alright. Um, so you could totally just run this way, and whoop! <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun okay there's going to be a lot of fun to be had with this champion <laughs> even though I'm really really bad at them there is so many possibilities too many possibilities even but let's get this Bork and let's see what else is recommended what does Freak say? Freak says yo Moose this champ he's so fun so fun fuini fun but so Fuini also. So let's see. Got the Bork. Isaac is just... Oh, is he going to die? The, oh, yep, he is. First death of the game. Scrub, you're reported. Consider yourself reported. Oh, damn. You know what I bet would be fun on him? Static Shiv. Just because Shiv is fun on like, all champions to me. I think it's a horrible item. Unless you're doing nothing but pushing. Which, obviously, I have been in this game. But I think it's really, really fun. So let's see. I have Triforce... Bork and a long sword up on this duder. All right, come here, come on, let's duke it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Slowing him down right there. Let's go ahead and drop this Bork and the crunch and the boom. There you go. Wait, you son of a bitch. You so you're God damn it! Get out of the way of my house. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. No, no, no. God damn it! This is your fault. Wallop. God. Fuck. God. God damn, damn you! Alright, got the kill. I killed Zed. It's fine. It's whatever. 
I freaking missed my Gnar, because the enemy Gnar used his hop, and he got away from me. I didn't even notice he was hopping, dude. So shit in my mouth and call me a freaking prehistoric fuzzy fucker, because that is bullshit. And let's see. Oh, good job, Law Lily. And, oh, what the heck? Trying to duke it out with the Gnar, and it looks like it's raining, whatever those are, and that will be a one for a one. Uh, the Gnar and the Arcade. Oh, that damage, and let's see the snare gonna come out, and the tower will go down. And one more shot, he's fine. So let's see, oh, the Bork, and he's dead. But, will Hecarim get it? The Hecarim and the... Here he goes, he's just gonna bop him in the, the, the helicopter blade, and... Go, use the ultimate donut. Use it. Oh, we popped the ghost instead. Here he goes, and... Bob, come on, donut. What the heck is this ring around the rosy shit? God damn it, they're just having fun now. Oh, the jukes and the slows, and Hecarim is coming out with a vengeance. And, oh. Zed never died. It appears Zed wins this one. He didn't die, and that will be the end of the game. I didn't even say that coming. That was very anticlimactic. But, definitely, Z or Nar is super duper fun. Holy shit. I'm going to be playing them a lot more. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite. Most, leave, make sure you leave a like and a favorite. It really helps me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. It will be a wonderful day. Peace!